I was supposed to die at that time anyway. If I die now, I'll be happy. Kill me while I'm still young and still pretty. Hello and welcome to Death Note 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the Death Note world. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the not so bright follower of Kira, the one who did everything she could for the sake of whom she loved, Misa Amane. Misa Amane is a young model and actress whose personality traits include mischievousness, boldness, and cheerfulness. Because of this, she is one of the only comedic and fun-loving characters in the entirety of the Death Note series, with the only other person kind of fulfilling that role being Tota Matsuda. However, despite this cheerful nature, Misa rather sadly has one of the darkest backstories of any character in the series. Roughly a year before the events of Death Note, Misa witnessed the murder of her parents during an armed robbery, and while the culprit was apprehended by the police, it was the justice system that would ultimately come to fail Misa. With her parents' murder trial extending on and on to the point where it was believed that he would escape punishment. However, just as Misa had lost all hope, the murderer was struck down by the hand of Kira, after which point, Misa felt that justice had finally been delivered. Misa, greatly relieved, then swiftly became a dedicated supporter of Kira and the utopia he represented, which was a world without crime. Her primary goal in life then became to find Kira and to thank him for what he had done. Shortly thereafter, Misa went on to start a successful modeling career. Well, mostly successful, because unfortunately becoming a public figure also came with some hazards, such as, you know, stalkers. And one particular stalker went so far as to confess his feelings for Misa. However, upon being rejected, he pulled out a knife and made a genuine attempt to kill her. But before he could make good on his intentions, Misa would be saved as the fan died of a sudden heart attack, in an eerily similar manner as to how Kira kills his victims. However, it was not Kira who was responsible for saving Misa's life, but another one of her fans, actually. Except this fan was not a human, but a Shinigami named Jealous, who had been obsessively watching Misa from the Shinigami realm, having fallen in love with her. In saving her life, Jealous sacrificed his own due to the innate rules of Shinigami existence, as their purpose is to take life to extend their own, rather than to extend the life of others. And after being reduced to dust, Jealous's death note was inherited by the Shinigami Rem, who delivered it to Misa in the human realm, and became her sort of Shinigami companion in much the same way that Ryuk did to Light. Unlike Light and Ryuk, however, Misa and Rem developed an actual relationship, becoming strong friends and greatly enjoying each other's company. Misa would speak to Rem all the time and ask her various questions, which Rem would answer as best she could, even when it pertained to sensitive Shinigami information. Rem even goes so far as to give Misa advice and actively help her, unlike Ryuk, who didn't care for Light whatsoever, he just wanted to observe and be entertained. With that said, as the series progresses, Misa's relationship with Rem is entirely overshadowed by her obsession with Light, to the point where even after Rem comes to sacrifice herself to save Misa, Misa seems pretty much unaffected by this action, instead simply blinded by her happiness to continue being with Light. In any case, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So after learning of the Shinigami realm and the Death Note, Misa was now well aware of how Kira conducted his killings and vowed to use her newfound power to help him. And to this end, Misa even made a deal with Rem to obtain Shinigami eyes, which allow their user to see people's names and lifespans simply by looking at them. Although in order to make the deal, Misa had to give Rem half of her remaining lifespan. Then, in order to contact Kira, Misa concocts a plan to send a series of videotapes to the Sakura TV station, in which she claims to be Kira, and even provides evidence to back it up. For example, on the first tape, Misa predicts the death of two criminals, and then proceeds to use her death note to kill them at the appointed time. Misa's approach during this time also highlighted the fact that she is far less strict about who she kills as opposed to Light, at least initially anyway, which was shown when Misa was willing to kill police officers for the sake of her goals, a factor that immediately tipped Elle off to the idea that they were not dealing with the original Kira, who had no desire to kill innocents and would lead to Misa being dubbed the second Kira. With that said, Misa's plot worked out in her favor, as she was able to communicate a coded message to Light, resulting in their eventual meeting. During said meeting, Misa fell in love with Light instantly, and offered herself to be used in his endeavor to craft a utopia, and even asked Light to make her his girlfriend. To which he had strategically declined, but offered to play the part in public in order to facilitate their new partnership of world domination. This rejection does not deter Misa in the slightest though, who said that she would work hard to make Light love her, and from here on out, Light would be Misa's only focus of attention. Misa would go on to confess her love to Light multiple times during the series, but at no point does he seem to care for her in the same way, or arguably at all. Despite this, Misa continued to follow Light everywhere and obey every order given. To this end, Misa even did the unthinkable and made the Shinigami ideal once more, this time with Ryuk, after she had lost her initial eyes, halving her lifespan again and effectively leaving her with only a quarter of the life she had left remaining. But despite all of this devotion, Light was often extremely agitated by Misa's antics, which can be explained by her overactive nature and simple lack of intelligence, which is seen 
seen in her official statistics, having only been granted a 3 out of 10 in the area of knowledge, thus making her the least intelligent character in the entire series. But to be fair, Misa could probably be best described as an average human in a series populated with geniuses, so we're not going to hold that against her. Furthermore, she more than makes up for her lack of knowledge with her social skills and general charm, for which Misa scored a perfect 10 out of 10 in both areas. As a result, Misa is generally quite warm and kind towards any new person she meets, and is very quick to change her mind about anybody she dislikes if they start acting even remotely nice towards her. The only real exception to this are the other women in Light's life. Towards whom Misa shows an incredible degree of jealousy, and often makes comments to do with killing them herself with the Death Note. Following Elle's death and the time skip, Misa's role in the story becomes significantly reduced, although she does develop a conflict with Light's new girlfriend, Kiyomi Takada. To top it all off, this is after she is forced to relinquish her ownership of the Death Note once more, after Light is put under surveillance by the SPK, led by one of Elle's successors, which effectively ended Misa's active role in the story. Then, when Light is eventually defeated and killed, Misa is shown standing on a rooftop, implying that she possibly means to commit suicide after having heard that the love of her life had passed away. However, her eventual fate is never shown. Not in the actual series, anyway. However, according to her profile in Chapter 110, How to Read, she passed away roughly a year after Light, with the author speculating that she fell into despair and committed suicide. And just for one uh, final kick in the gut, Misa's date of death is February 14th, meaning that she died on Valentine's Day. Some more fun facts about Misa. Misa's surname, Amane, literally translates to heavenly sound or the sound of rain. The series illustrator Takashi Obata has stated that Misa was the hardest character to design in the entire series. This was due to her character needing to be capable of conveying both silly and serious expressions, which required a versatile character design. Misa's character was planned to be the second Kira even before Death Note began serialization. This was because the makers of Death Note did not want the story to be solely about male characters, and they wanted a quote unquote, cute female. In the novel Elle Changed the World, Misa actually lives after Light's defeat and works as a singer. And in this story that exists strictly in an alternate continuity, Misa's past is also explored a bit more in depth through the addition of her childhood friend Maki. And finally, a truly useless fact, in the Death Note anime, when the audience hears Misa's thoughts, her hair turns blue. Except in episodes 21 and 22, where it remains yellow for some reason. But that pretty much does it for Misa Amane. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the New World Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if Patreon isn't quite your style, then please do leave this video a like, share, or subscribe, because it also helps support this channel an incredible amount. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next Death Note 101. So as a professional fashionista, Misa actually thought quite long and hard about her disguise for this particular scene before settling on the black bob cut. You may be surprised to learn that other options included red Misa, purple Misa, teal Misa, rainbow Misa, Elvis Misa, Vegeta Misa, and even Gandalf Misa. And yet she went with the black bob cut. <sighs> no wonder light questions her judgment.